This fuel pump is singing the song of its people. Welcome back to another day on the wet coast. And today I have to take a minute from working on the forge to give my old F-150 some attention because I've got some stuff happening. One, the fuel pump's gotten really noisy and I'm gonna replace that. And two, I have a problem happening with the smog pump, which is this little thing way down here. And it has been unoperational for probably decades now. The pipe had all corroded into the intake. It's been since blocked off. So all that thing is doing is sitting as a parasitic drain on the engine. And now I think the bearing in it is starting to go and it's making some noise. Let me start it up and show you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the old serpentine belt off and I'm gonna run string around the pulleys to figure out a new path and get the length that I'm gonna need for a new serpentine belt that will be shorter than this one, which is, I believe, 89 or 90 inches long. I'm gonna need something in the neighborhood of 75 inches, I figure. So I'm gonna do that right now. I found this diagram online for different routings for the serpentine belt on the 5.0. This one looks like it's the one to go with because I have the alternator, the smog pump, water pump, counter, uh, crankshaft, and power steering. There's one extra pulley in there and I just need to measure the actual length with that extra pulley, but that's the routing I'm going to go with. there just to hold it in place for now this will be a gross estimate not including the tensioner now I'm gonna make sure that that water pump is gonna rotate in the right direction that's gonna clock it okay yeah this 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 will actually work All right, I'm gonna go measure my marks. Okay, the string doesn't lie. I'm glad I measured this because I thought I'd need about a 73 inch belt, but it looks like I need a 78 inch belt. And I think I'll probably have about a half an inch leeway either side. So now I'm off to Lord Co to see if they can hook me up with the same ribbed serpentine belt in 78 inches instead of 70 or 89 and a half, I think. I'm back from Lord Co with my strapping new belt and I'm gonna buckle down and get it installed. I measured right, this should fit. There's some ifs in there, that's for sure. Got it. Seven, eight inch belt is perfect. So that eliminates the smog pump itself. Looks like it's routed the right directions. I am gonna start the truck up and see what kind of noises she makes. No more horrible failing bearing noise. All right, so the shorter belt allowed me to eliminate the smog pump from the serpentine belt circuit without having to do anything else. It was a bit expensive, it was a $75 belt, but I didn't actually have time to order it out of Rock Auto because that would have been probably 12 bucks, but then $35 shipping, so six of one, half dozen the other. Now the next thing I need to do is get my butt under the truck and replace that really noisy fuel pump that's down there. The pump still works fine, but it's so noisy and I'm pretty sure at some point it's gonna let go, so before that strands me beside the highway, I'm gonna do that. The first thing I need to do is because I've just run the engine is to make sure that the fuel pressure has been relieved in the system. And that's pretty simple just by sticking something into the Schrader valve on the fuel line and relieve the pressure. I'll show you that. It's right over here. I should actually throw a rag over there, but I want to show you if there's any pressure, what happens. A little bit of fuel came out. This is just a valve removal tool. It's like a little slotted special screwdriver. And if I pull the valve all the way out, then I know there's no fuel pressure. I'll screw it back in. Not a lot of fuel came out, which is fine, but some of these systems can have 50 or 60 PSI. As soon as you disconnect the line in the fuel system, 
get a face full of fuel under pressure. Not good. All right, that's back in. Now I can remove the pump. Just look at that crazy flex. Well, this is the power for the pump. Disconnects nice and easy. And then I'm going to pull that little clip out of there to disconnect the fuel line. It's a little retainer there, it just pulls out. And there should be the same on the front, but I'll do the rear one first. That's the retaining clip there. There's replacement ones that come with the new fuel pump, so I don't have to worry about screwing this thing up. Just, here comes the gasoline. Yep. Hopefully that's not gonna be too much. And that's it. So it doesn't drain all out of the place. This cage has seen better days. I'll make a new one. One day. Today is not that day. All right, so there's the old pump. So this fitting on the new pump is obviously larger than this fitting on the old pump. And they are kind enough to send me another fitting that happens to be correct. So I'm just going to swap those out as well as swap the connectors over. So the old pump has polarity markings, that's positive, that's negative, and the new pump does as well. So right in here you can see this is a positive terminal, that's a negative terminal. Definitely want to make sure those are right. And there's a gasket in there. easy. I got the wiring harness transferred to the new pump and I've got the new pump in the pump cradle. Yes, it's rough. I'm not going to worry about it. Now I'm just going to reverse the process of removing it by installing it. I'm not going to bore you with that. Um, I'll be right back to test the pump. All right, the new pump is in and all hooked up. Let's see what she sounds like. She sounds great. A lot quieter. That's a good start. Now let's see if she will start. <laughs> vroom vroom baby. Sometimes little things get in the way of life like having to maintain your vehicles when working on your projects. New fuel pump, new serpentine belt which eliminates my smog pump. It's gonna make me happy. Now that I've done that I can get back to working on the forge. Hope you liked this video. Hit the like button if you did. If you like this channel, please subscribe. You'd be doing me a solid. Anyways, thanks for watching and it's time to get back onto other fun stuff. See you in the next video.